Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Jacqueline is on assignment tonight. Our top story, airport security discovers three loaded firearms at Tampa International Airport just this week. They've confiscated 24 guns so far this year. At SRQ, officers are seeing the same trends. And TSA officials say it's happening more frequently nationwide. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is at Tampa International tonight to remind travelers how to safely and properly travel with firearms. It's important for travelers to know that you can travel with a firearm. There's just a right way and a wrong way to do it. TSA doesn't want to infringe on anybody's right to take a firearm with them when they travel. We just want to make sure that it's packed safely and it's inaccessible during the flight. You can never pack a firearm in your carry-on luggage. You can, however, put it in your checked baggage if you do it correctly. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a hard-sided case. Soft cases are not permitted and the case must be able to be locked. So you're going to remove any magazines from the firearm and make sure that there are no rounds chambered on the inside as well. The ammunition can be packed in the same case as the firearm, but the bullets must be in a box that keeps them from rolling around. They're going to give you a card, and they're a little bit different from, from airline to airline, but it has basic information contact info that you're going to fill out. Uh, and this lets us know that you declared it to the airline. So you're going to fill that card out, and you're going to place it in the inside of your box. Then you're ready to fly. Once you land, if the case is inside of a suitcase, it'll come out with the other luggage. If not, then you can pick up your weapon at the airline's baggage office. TSA stresses how important it is that you follow these simple rules. If you don't and take a weapon in your carry-on. The TSA will notify us that there's a possible weapon at the checkpoint and we'll come to investigate one of our officers. And uh, if you don't have a concealed carry uh, permit, uh, you will be arrested. Uh, your uh, weapon will be impounded and you will end up going to jail. If you do have a concealed carry permit, you'll be escorted out of the airport. Whether or not you have the permit, you'll be facing a possible $13,000 fine. Most people, when they get to the checkpoint and they're told they have a weapon in their bag or their briefcase or their backpack, they're surprised. They forgot it. Sometimes it's uh, spouses. Once you land, know the laws of where you're traveling to. Here in the south, if you have a carry permit, you can carry, uh, carry just about anywhere here. Uh, but if you fly to New York, for example, uh, you take your firearm out of your box, you can get arrested. If you have any questions about traveling with a firearm before you buy your ticket and especially before you check in for that flight, make sure you give your airline a call to make sure you're following all of the procedures. Reporting in Tampa, Jess Aldrich, ABC7, your Suncoast News.